Hi boys, happy Tuesday. I'm excited to see everybody this week on our Zooms. Either tomorrow, or you guys get to see each other at Miss Shanish today, or on Friday. So we got lots coming up. I'm excited to see everybody. Hope everybody's still doing their best at home, being good for mom and dad, trying really hard on your schoolwork, getting outside some. It looks like it might even be a sunny day here, and we might be getting back to some good weather. So hopefully. I know we love getting outside, all of us, so hopefully the weather gets back to the good. All right, and without further ado, I have one more Dr. Seuss story before we get back into chapter books, and it's called, What Was I Scared Of? This is also another very silly book, of course, coming from Dr. Seuss, but I think it has a lesson in it as well, so maybe we'll talk about that lesson at the end and see what we all, you guys can write me and tell me what you think. What Was I Scared Of? Well, I was walking in the night, and I saw nothing scary. I have never been afraid of anything. Not very. And I was deep within the woods when suddenly I spied them. I saw a pair of pale green pants with nobody inside them. I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What could those pants be there for? What could a pair of pants at night be standing in the air for? So here's our main character. Here's our pants just standing there. And then they moved those empty pants. They kind of started jumping. And then my heart, I must admit, it kind of started thumping. So I got out. I got out fast. As fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared, but pants like that I did not care for. No, sir! Here's the pants running, chasing him down the hill. After that, a week went by. Then one night in Greenwich, I had to do an errand there and fetch some Greenwich spinach. Well, I had fetched the spinach, and I was starting back through town, when those pants raced around the corner, and they almost knocked me down. I lost my Greenwich spinach, but I didn't even care. I ran for home, believe me, I had really had a scare. Now, bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them, especially spooky green pants with nobody inside them. Look at his spinach flying. I'm not sure how the pants pedal, but that's a conversation for another time, maybe. The next night, I was fishing for doubt trout on Roover River when those pants came rowing toward me. Well, I started in to shiver, and by now I was so frightened that I'll tell you, but I hate to. I screamed and rowed away and lost my hit hook, line, and bait, too. The pole flying through the air, the bucket of, I'm assuming those bucket of fish are his bait he was going to be using to catch other fish. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches, but I stayed there anyway. I stayed all night and the next night too. I'd be there still, no doubt, but I had to do an errand, so the next night I went out. There's the brickle bushes. You don't look very comfortable, especially having brickles in your britches. I had to do an errand, had to pick a pack of snide. In the dark and gloomy snide field, that's almost nine miles wide. I said, I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said and said and said those words. I said them, but I lied them. Then I reached inside a snide bush. And the next thing that I knew, I felt my hand touch someone, and I'll bet you know who. <laughs> and there I was, caught in the snide, in that dreadful place, those spooky empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help, I screamed, I shrieked, I howled, I yowled, I cried. Oh, save me from these pale green pants with nobody inside!
But then a strange thing happened. Why, those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. I put my arm around their waist and sat down right beside them. I calmed them down, the poor empty pants with nobody inside them. And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I. And we never shake or tremble. We both smile and we say, hi. Right, so that's an interesting story. Uh, something funny to point out. The character here, he doesn't wear pants at all. It doesn't seem throughout the story, but he recognizes the pants. So he knows about pants. He just chooses not to wear them. So that's interesting. Um, but I think the true lesson of that story is you can't be afraid of things you don't know what they are or you don't understand. So... Don't be afraid of a person you don't know or you don't understand. Of course, if they're a stranger, you shouldn't approach them without your parent telling you it's safe or a trusted adult. But um, I'm more talking about like at school, if there's a kid you don't know and you're afraid to talk to them, it's probably not that they're so different or they're scary. It's probably you just don't know them yet. Or maybe something you're learning seems really scary in math or in science or social studies or writing it seems really hard and scary but once you get to know it and know how to do it it won't be as hard and scary so i think our big lesson in what was i scared of is don't be afraid of things you don't understand try to understand things and see if when you understand them you're less afraid because usually when we seek to understand each other we are in a lot better place overall so try and understand where people are coming from what things mean before you're afraid of them even animals don't be afraid of an animal just because it looks scary try and learn why it looks scary or why it needs those adaptations to look mean or smell bad and then maybe once we learn about it even if we don't want to go around it like a skunk I'm not still going to go by skunks, but I'm not scared of them. I know they're just trying to protect themselves when they let their stinky smells out. But I'm still not going to go by them, but I'm not scared. So that's an example, and maybe you guys can think of some in your life of things you're afraid of or were afraid of until you understood them. And we'll keep working on building understanding between all of us so we uh, aren't afraid of anything, all right? All right, do your best this week. Work hard. I look forward to seeing everybody when I see you. Bye, guys.